when was a time someone got there, but kicked because they thought someone was an easy target. We had a boy join our school, when we were in middle school. He had gone to school one town over, and he didn't know anyone. He immediately started picking on girls. And not just picking on them, we are talking pushing, tripping, shoulder checking them in the hallways. For no reason, that we could discern. He hated girls, that he thought weren't hot, and was openly trying to hurt some of the smaller girls in our classes. He specifically picked on the girls who were short, small, and not particularly conventionally attractive. Worse, he seemed to think, that this made him cool, and it was his shtick. He would say stuff like look at this ugly bitch and you're so gross, you should feel lucky someone even touched you at all. He often did this in crowded places, and around the popular kids, hoping to be accepted by them. Well, one day he decided to slam a thin lanky girl into one of the lockers. A lot of people saw it, and she seemed like she might actually have been hurt. Little did he know, that girl had three enormous high school brothers who had muscles four days from working on their parents' farm. After school, while people were boarding the school buses, they came up, introduced themselves, then threw him around like a rag doll in front of the entire school. The brothers were suspended, but that kid kept a much lower profile for the rest of his time at our school, although he was still a rage-filled dickwood, he was quieter about it. Quiet kid at school, would get bullied but never cared. School bully decided to up his game, and said something about the kid's dad. First time he spoke he died, please don't talk about him. Bully grins and you know something is coming. Says something along the lines of him dying from AIDS cause he was gay, and took it up the bum. As the bully turns to look at everyone's reaction the quiet kid got up, and swung his chair at the bully. Hit the kid so hard in the head he showed up a month later with head shaved and stitches. This was back in 06 and the kid got off with a year's detention and therapy. Bully never opened his mouth again, because half the school made fun of his scar and other half said they would cheer him too. Violence isn't always the answer, unless you ask the right question. Watch this 60 year old lay out cold three teenagers in one go, they pushed over his I'm assuming wife and he just leveled all of them, they couldn't have been any older than 16, but I was like my dude you're a FKN legend. Was probably 10 at the time so this was back in the early 2000s. Best justice served I've ever seen. I got laid out by an 86 year old marine. Story time cheerins. Gather round, I didn't think he was an easy target. I was on shift, when I got toned out to him. He was hypoglycemic, and had an altered mental status. His wife was panicking. It took 4 firefighters to restrain him, so I could begin to get a line in. But for I could get his d50 going, he got free and straight punched me in the face, bloodying my nose and lip, and making me see stars momentarily, like something out of a damn Looney Tunes cartoon. I got back on him after the shot, pumped some d50 into him. Raising his sugar from the 40s into the low 130s. He came back around in minutes. We gave him a sandwich and he insisted on apologizing profusely. Which we accepted gracefully, but insisted it was not necessary. The guys at the station thought it was fucking hilarious, because he offered us cookies before we left. Honestly, he was a sweet guy once he had his bearings back. When I was in the first grade, my best friend David, in the second grade, was being bullied by a third grader named Billy. Billy previously had been held back, so even though he was only one grade older than David he was at least two years older. And at that age, a two plus year difference meant Billy was a lot bigger than David. This kid Billy, and I swear this is true, looked so much like Scott Farkas in a Christmas story it was unreal. No coon skin cap though. Anyway, Billy tells David at lunch, that he was going to beat him up. He better be at the bike rack after school. This was the mid 70s, so like, no one even thought about going to the teachers, and even if we had, they would have been haha, boys being boys. David was debating what to do, since he didn't want to get beat up. David's house boarded the school, but as luck would have it, he would have to pass by the bike rack to run home. Finally, Dave's friend Tran tells him, don't worry, he'll go to the bike rack with him. Tran is a skinny Vietnamese kid, smaller than David and definitely not intimidating. David thinks the two of them might stand a chance, and in any case, he doesn't have another plan. So the end of the school day comes, and several dozen kids have gathered at the bike rack, as news has spread that Billy is going to kick David's ass. Billy is waiting, 
and David and Tran show up. Billy hops off the bike rack and says something crass and moves in to attack David. And then Tran proceeds to kick the ever living crap out of Billy. And I mean this semi literally. Tran was quick and every time Billy moved and Tran would sidestep and kick Billy in the ass. Over and over again. Billy never even landed a glancing blow, he just ducked shot after shot to his butt. We all watched without mouths agape, unable to believe what we were seeing. Eventually Billy started crying and ran off. Billy's reputation as a bully was destroyed, and he never did that shit again. To anyone. In hindsight, honestly, it was what Billy needed. I left that school the next year and by coincidence, years later, ended up with Billy in the same class in high school. He was a mellow guy, super friendly and not at all an asshole. He just needed an attitude adjustment. Used to work event security, working a ball game, and get a call about some drunk dude making a scene at one of the concession stands. That game I was roving with a girl we were both 19, but I was a bulky as fuck dude she looked like she just stepped out of a Disney princess movie. We get to the stand, and it was actually two dudes. I get one wrapped up pretty quick. But the other guy thought he could just bum rush her and get away. What he didn't know is she had four brothers and grew up in a MMA house. Dude went from charging her to being on the ground, in zip ties so fast I don't even think he felt the concrete when he bounced off it. The look on his face was just confusion he had no idea how he ended up on the ground. The Battle of Salamis People know about the Battle of Thermopylae because of the legend of the 300. I really it was more like 7000 to start, with the heroic last stand with the tiny force only after Leonidas learned he had been betrayed, and the Persians were going to get behind him, but the Greeks did technically lose that one. But in the same war, the Greeks actually won a decisive naval battle against Persia, similarly against overwhelming odds that were neutralized by terrain that narrowed the battlefield, and also because the Persians apparently thought that the massively outnumbered Greek fleet was about to collapse and scatter. The result was somewhat akin to a 300 pound bully chasing a 100 pound weakling into a narrow, cluttered space, getting stuck, and only then realizing that the 100 pound guy who had been running and crying a moment ago is standing there smiling and holding a baseball bat. I saw a rich looking dick pic on a homeless guy outside a KFC. He was just relentlessly mocking him and eating in front of him. Ended up taking it too far and pushing the homeless dude. That was a mistake as the rich prick proceeds to get knocked the fuck out. Never been so happy to see karma play out correctly. My former roommate got her ass kicked by my mom. It was great and beautiful. My former roommate pretended to be little Billy Badass. My mom is in her late 50s and is a massage therapist now and believes in chakras and positive vibes and is a damn hippie but in her 20s she used to manage a bar slash strip club and had to yeet big drunk dudes out. My former roommate was trash, some of the things she did stole from me, money, clothing, shoes etc. I model for a small agency so I need my clothes and shoes. She quit her job and wasn't interested in getting a new one. Had a sexual relationship with a minor, slept with my ex fiancé while we were engaged, worked out because I'm now with an amazing man, who I actually want to be with, and a lot more. Stuff. When she came to gather her things she pushed me into a wall, and punched me, and tried getting in my mom's face. My mom is about 5, 10, while rumored is only a few inches taller than me, so Rumi is probably only around 5, 3 or so, she pushes my mom and called her a cunt, and in seconds my mom had her pinned to the wall by her neck saying some stuff like, if you ever put your hands on my daughter again I will kill you before physically throwing her out of the house, and then throwing all of her stuff into the yard. My ex was also there to collect room his stuff and my mom knew the years of hell he put me through, so she made sure to aim at him while throwing. My roomie actually did not know about my mom's bar past, she never knew she had to throw big dudes out of bars calm gang members down, and fought strippers. I'm sure if Rumi knew about my mom's badass past, she wouldn't have tried anything. Moral of the story, just because someone is a hippie senior citizen, doesn't mean they won't put you in your place if you try messing with them. I love my badass hippie mommy. So, I used to stay in this one town, where a whole ass gang just had a big house for all of them in the middle of town. It was like a communal living type thing, everyone slept in the basement, they ate on the ground floor, and they sparred in the backyard. So enter me, 
just a random nobody who wandered into town because someone else needed me to tell some other, more powerful and connected guy to protect them. But anyway, I try to join said gang. I get told to talk to the leader, and I go, and he's venting about some voodoo curse type shit to his younger member, and I'm awkward as fuck, but I ask, can I join you guys? Big big homie said I got potential, but the lieutenant, little big homie hash one, said he don't know me from a hole in the wall, so he takes me to the backyard to prove myself. He doesn't make me fight him, Peresi, but he made me just swing. He thought I was okay, and I thought I was in the clear, but him and his circle all the little big homies, just made me run errands and shit. And I was the butt of jokes, even the cops made fun of me. Fast forward a week or two, and one of the little big homies, the one who deals with new members, told me I was ready. I ask what I'm supposed to do, and he tells me someone robbed big big homies predecessor of a piece. That little big homie, must have been hash 3, sent me and little big homie hash 2 to go get it back. So boom, I go with lbh hash 2 to some weird ass cave in the middle of the woods, and we go inside. Boy, the smell was like someone removed their crocs, but it seemed like someone had been there already. Little big homie hash 2 says tread lightly. So I do. There's some crackheads and homeless people who try to fight, but we fold their asses, you know what I mean. But then he and I walk into a big room, and we don't know where to go. We wander around, I go into line a side room and pull a lever. Boom. In one second, there was a metal gate crashed down in between the side room and the big room. Little big homie hash 2 is like deadus. Look what you just did smh mac get you out ta there just jim as secretary. But then. Just like that. 6. Not 4. Not 5. But 6. Fucking rival gang members pop out of the next room. They got big weapons, and I thought they were gonna kill little big homie hash too. They even say about me, he wears them colors, he dies. But now this is where it gets crazy. One of them says killing you will make for an excellent story. And little big homie hash too says to bad none of you will be alive to tell it. And I s to g the same f turns into a whole ass werewolf, goes berserk, and just bodies all of them. One, I swear, just have died from being frightened. Anyway, after that, me and Farkas cleared the rest of that dungeon, I got the piece of woo thread back, and I became an official member of the companions. My cousin and his bf got harassed at a bar for being together. I guess they got followed to their hotel and three guys jumped them. My cousin and his bf at the time just finished coming back from a tour of Afghanistan, and not their first one. It didn't end well for them. When I was in 6th grade I beat the crap out of this kid in 5th grade. He thought he could take me for sure. For months he would tease me, make small punches and smacks, kick me in the butt. Truth was, I'm just not confrontational, and I simply didn't want to escalate things. But that didn't mean I wasn't bigger and stronger than him. He thought my timidity would be his advantage, until he pushed me too far, and I let the rage loose on him. Man that felt good. It wasn't even a fair fight. Back in college there was this football player, plays for the NFL now, though he's on the bench 95% of the season, and he was completely trashed his junior year. So he's walking down the hallways in the upper class dorms drunk as fuck, and essentially shoulder checks this girl. Well this girl tells him to watch where the fuck he's going, and he flips shit. Do you know who I am? I'm, first name, fucking, last name. She replies along the lines of I don't care who the fuck you are, watch where you're fucking going. So douche canoe goes to bump into her again, and overdoes it a bit. This pisses the girl off. Little did douche canoe know, this girl is a nationally ranked shot putter who, in turn, landed a solid right hook, and knocked the guy right out. I have a younger brother. Not quite two years between us. I've always been a fighter when being bullied, while it would really hurt him. We were both bigger children, and he'd really be upset. One year at a week-long sleepaway camp, a couple of the older boys took to picking on him. It got to the point where they made him cry by the middle of the week. Their biggest mistake was forgetting he had a sister their age. I grabbed one of the thin yellow wiffle ball bats and went after the main kid. I got a few good hits on him and then chased him around the common area slash basketball court until an adult stopped us. I had been with this camp for 10 years at that point, and knew all the adults. Told them what happened, and why I was trying to beat him. I got in no trouble, but told not to do it again. 
and get an adult next time. His mom got called, told what happened, and told that if there was one incident, she was going to have to drive the hour or so up to the camp to get him. No one picks on my brother but me. Probably gonna get lost in all the other replies, but here it goes. I'm in a wheelchair, so people sometimes assume I can't defend myself, but I have a pretty strong upper body. This one night years ago I was at a bar with a bunch of friends, and I had to go to the bathroom, so I backed up my wheelchair, stepping on some drunk dude's foot, complete accident. I didn't even have time to apologize when the guy just clocked me in the nose. As I was falling, I grabbed him by the shirt, bringing him down to the floor with me. I remember my friends yelling someone hit number one, nose underscore it's underscore me, and then someone else yelling, oh, don't worry, he's kicking the other guy's ass. Thing is, once we were on the floor, we were at the same level, so I just grabbed him with one arm, and started punching him in the face with the other. All his friends started fighting my friends and we ended up getting kicked out of the place, but I'll never forget it. It was my first and only time fist fighting someone. I ended up with a broken nose, but the other guy didn't fare too well either. One of my mum's favorite stories. I was around 5 years old and my little sister was 4. We were at a playground where two boys, older than us, 6 or 7, took my toy excavator. My sister didn't like that. She walked over to them and started scolding them to the point of one of them crying and the other giving me my excavator back. Saw a new story a while back about a purse snatcher trying to grab and running the victim was a female MMA fighter who chased him down and beat the hell out of him. 